Hi, in this video we'll show how you can create invoices in Matter 365 and what different options do you have at your disposal while doing so. Uh, I'm in the invoicing page and I'll create this invoice by clicking this button. The first thing that you need to do for every invoice is to choose a matter that you want to bill for. In this case, I'll use my Matter 59 and as soon as I selected a matter, all of the client information is already here. If there are multiple addresses on file for my client, I can switch, for example, to his billing address by using this button, or I can just go back to using business address. When it comes to terms for this invoice, here you will see a list of all available terms on your QuickBooks account. So for example, I can use net 15, or if you didn't find what you, what you were looking for, you can always add a new term uh, from this invoicing page in Matter365. Okay, the next thing is adding invoice lines to this invoice. And before doing that, I wanna show some of the different settings that we have that will make this quicker for you. If we go to settings in Matter365, we will uh, click on the QuickBooks Online integration. And here you will see some new additions from our recent uh, product updates. So the first thing is uh, this product service uh, field for, for all of your invoice lines. You will probably want to have some default values for, for time trackings and for expenses. So you wouldn't have to set these every time. Or for example, if you have a hundred lines in your invoice, you probably won't want to click this a hundred times. So uh, again, all of the values in this list are pulled from your QuickBooks. Maybe you will have more. Uh, in my account, I have only three. So for my time trackings, I will choose hours and for expenses, well, I will choose expense. And the other thing uh, for the description of these invoice lines is that you can choose to show full name of the, of the attorney that provided the service or only his initials or just the uh, activity description. This is a requirement in some of the states. So if this concerns you, uh, you can choose to display this on the invoice. So now that we explained what these settings are, let's actually add a couple of invoice lines. When I click add activity, in this list, I will see all of the activities that happened on Matter 59 that are not built for already. So I can either quickly add all of them or just select a couple of them. So for example, let's say one time tracking and one expense. As you can see, this product service field is properly filled in. So my time tracking is in hours and expense is expense. Also in the description, I can see the initials of a lawyer, Mike Smith, who actually provided the service. And for my expense, if I want to uh, attach uh, this attachment that I had with it, I can select this checkbox and provide the actual bill for hiring an expert. So just for transparency, I might wanna show my client uh, what I actually paid for um, that I'm billing to him right now. So the next thing is sales tax. Uh, in my example, I'm located in Canada. So let's say I'm charging HST. The next thing is invoice message. You can either uh, enter a message of your own or if you have a trust account set up for this matter and this invoice is gonna be paid uh, from money held in trust, you can just click here and enter that trust account info here for your client. So he will see what was the previous uh, balance of, your, of his trust account, what's the amount of this invoice that you're gonna charge and what's trust balance after payment gonna be. Uh, next to this, you have a statement message if you wanna enter that and on the right side, there's a discount. So you can uh, allow for a discount either as a percentage or as a value. And this is gonna be recorded for this invoice. Once you're done, you can either sync this invoice to QuickBooks or just save it as a draft in Matter365. I'm gonna save it as a draft for now. And then I'm gonna show you the different statuses of an invoice in Matter365. So our invoice page is being refreshed with the data from your QuickBooks. This, is, this will take a couple seconds. So this top one is the invoice that we just created. As you can see, the delivery status of it is draft. If we clicked uh, sync to QuickBooks, the delivery status would be sync. So let's do that. So let's sync this invoice with QuickBooks. I'll just click on this paper plane and this invoice will be synced. And then the next step 
if you want to actually send this invoice to your customer by email would be uh, to click this envelope. So you can see that all of these invoices that are in sync status can be sent to your client by clicking this envelope. The page is being refreshed now that our invoice is synced. So let's proceed with that too. Let's send this invoice to a client. And by doing that, you've done everything that you need to do without even going to QuickBooks. So let's actually go to QuickBooks just to show that everything is correct and the amount is right. So this is our invoice terms, net 15. Uh, this is our client, Dave Perry, two invoice lines. Uh, all of the amounts are correct. And this is this uh, message on the invoice that we added. So trust account uh, balance. Also, here's our attachment for this expense uh, called bill for services PDF. And basically this invoice was sent to uh, his email uh, once we click that button in Matter365 so we can confirm that everything is correct.